An analysis of more than 400 bond outs by the Bail Reform Group Texas Organizing Project shows very few are first-time offenders who simply can't afford bail. A large percentage have been arrested for serious crimes in the past and don't show up for court later. All right, I got seven bonds today. Texas Organizing Project, or TOP, wants to abolish cash bail, which it says is discriminatory against the poor. Back in January, they showed us how they regularly use donations to bail out inmates from the Bear County Jail, using a weekly list supplied to them by county jail administration officials. The, the county and top say the group is bailing out only low-level offenders who don't pose a risk to public safety. Most definitely, we do screen individuals to make sure that we're not jeopardizing the community in any way. But a close look at 447 of TOPS bailouts since 2020 reveals some alarming statistics. 278 defendants, or 62 percent, were arrested for felony or domestic violence offenses. 341 of them, or 76 percent, had been arrested at least twice before. Top bonded out Jacob Gomez, who has 23 cases on his record, has been to prison three times, including indecency with a child by contact. Kindred Ferguson is a registered sex offender who was sentenced to TDC for aggravated sexual assault, aggravated assault causing serious bodily injury, and indecent exposure. And Joe Cantu, 52 cases and 11 prison sentences, including assaulting a public servant causing bodily injury, indecent exposure, and theft. Texas Organizing Project performed campaign work for Bear County District Attorney Joe Gonzalez, and other bail reform groups contributed $1.4 million to his campaign. Earlier this year, we asked why the county helps top with bailouts. If you know of any cases where they are, they are bonding out uh, serious criminals with, that is endangering the, the community, I'd be more than happy to look at that. When we requested an interview with Gonzalez this month about the cases we found, he would only send us a statement. My office does not set bonds, and we have no control over who top or a commercial bond company chooses to bond out. Where appropriate, my office recommends conditions of bond for the protection of victims and the community, such as GPS monitoring, no contact orders with victims, and house arrest. We wanted to talk to Texas Organizing Project about two other findings. 31% of those bonded out did not show up at court later, and 65% ended up reoffending. but TOP has not responded. I'm News 4 troubleshooter Jay Avila.